That's how it's pronounced. The D is silent in that name, and uh, so is the Z. He's standing back in the end zone. Williams is the up man. Didn't hit it like he would like to, I'm sure. But they said they were not going to kick it, so they could return it. That was not what he wanted, though. So the Irish have a chance to put in another score. Our competition uses a very sophisticated, state-of-the-art, highly precise device to measure their cars. Our car, the Accord from Honda. In a world of sweeping changes, there is one certainty. The financial strength of the Prudential, rock solid in securities, insurance, and real estate. The scenery is majestic. Your camera is poised. You're struck by the beauty of the mountain. And then you're struck by the mountain. Why risk your camera when you can use ours? Fuji Quick Snap, one-time use cameras. Dean Witter believes every investor's success story is unique. From getting in on the ground floor to getting all the way to the top, Dean Witter can help you make it every step of the way. We measure success one investor at a time. Rick Meyer can start thinking about Michigan. His day is over. There is his numbers as he opens up in pursuit of that national championship and that Heisman Trophy. A couple of touchdowns and interceptions, some big plays, and now the backup. Young man's name is Kevin McDougal. He's a 6'2", 182-pound junior. Has a strong arm. I watched him on the field the other day. He can rifle it. The handoff is to Sellers. Penalty flag down. Hellebush there defensively for the Wildcats. I think Northwestern will walk off this field having gained a little confidence in the, the new system offensively, the new scheme defensively, and, and gain confidence in, in the coaches. And I, I think they're going to listen even harder from now on when the coaches speak. I would if I were one of their players, wouldn't you, Brent? So this one is over. The only thing to find out is the final score. There's Clark, but there's one that's brewing between USC and San Diego State. John, what's the latest? Brent, the latest is how to stop Marshall Falk. This one, by the time he busted loose, 59 yards for his third touchdown of the game. 20 carries, 169 yards, averaging just under nine yards a carry. And San Diego State back on top of USC. Brent. What a game that is. I'm going to tell you, he may be moving to the top with that performance. I huh? tell you. That is something. Did you see him turn that corner on that play? Here's a young man that can uh, that can break free, too. Number number 32, that's Willie Clark out of Wheatland, California. Dick, tell me the, uh, the Clark story as far as the Irish coaches are concerned. Well, you know, he really would rather play defense. He played some defense last year for eight ball games. He's the fastest man on the football team, qualified for the NCAAs in the 55-meter indoors. And, you know, he's a flyer. And even in the paper last week, they were talking about him wanting to move over the defense. But uh, I think they need they need him over there on offense, and I think that's probably where they're going to leave him. First and ten. McDougal keeping it. And he is down with a penalty fly. John Hellesbush hitting late outside. Here he is, an academic All Big Ten, very very bright bright student making a dumb football play. That was it. Come on, John, you know better than that. 
<laughs> Let's uh, check in on Julie Moran. Julie, one of the Irish players leaving early, is that what you're saying? Well, Brent, you're not going to see Kevin Pendergast out here on the field anymore, and that's because he has a busy schedule. He starts for the soccer team, so he has to catch a flight out of Chicago and be at this soccer game against UCLA by 8 o'clock tonight. So he's counting on no delays out of Chicago's O'Hare. All right, Julie, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you beat the traffic out of Soldier Field, though, Dave. Yeah, that's right. Get over there on the drive. He's got a uh, running start at it. Let's see what uh, happens here after they... Uh, there it is as you look down. And if time permits, stay tuned for the Thrifty Car Rental post-game report featuring scores and highlights from across the country. John Saunders will be coming your way. I guess what? We had a pay-per-view, Dave. I wonder if I can still buy the uh, San Diego State-USC game. Take I, tell you, I, I tell you, you know, I, what's on my mind right now, having coached in Southern California and how important it is to win out there and it, to lose to San Diego State, oh, I'll tell you, those USC alums will be absolutely livid. Beckton. Here's the tailback. McDougal. Goes with the fullback. And that's Lytle. Did you know that Lytle is 6'3", 225 pounds? They don't, they don't make small fullbacks in South Carolina. They're all big guys. Second end goal. The ball at the Northwestern 8-yard line. Four minutes to go. 28-point Irish lead. Back then, slipped and tackled, and battles to the five. You know, I think defensively they can bring the house. They can bring all 11 because I don't think Lou Holson throw the football. Oh, I think they should. <laughs> <laughs> Are you insinuating? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think they will, but... Uh, Ball's at the five. It's great to see this series renewed because I think in four years from now, I mean, as good a ball game as this was the first half, you could four years from now it's going to be a great one in the fourth quarter. The yeah, now they've changed the down marker. I thought that those uh, fellas from Missouri had come up here. They had a second down over there, and the scoreboard was uh, third. And uh, I thought maybe we'd have to tell the coaches what was going on down there. <laughs> it's it's uh, third down. Yes, sir, there are some folks who want to bring the house on this one. McDougal's going to put it out. Complete for the score. Oscar McBride, the tight end, was open right in the middle. Oscar McBride's playing with a broken jaw. He broke it last week. They wired it up so he could play. He got permission on Thursday. Lou Holtz didn't know he was going to be able to play. I'm surprised they threw the football. I thought they would run. I think that... Here it is, a play-action pass down there. They got a little heat. You'll see it coming from the backside. Good poise, tight end set up in there. Someone should have been on him man-to-man -man because it was man-to-man -man coverage. He blew it. And Drake. Four and two to seven. Never know that this was a close game back there about halftime, Coach. I know it. Here you go, and again, they're going to show it again. A little play action passes. He has pressure from the backside. There's Hellebush 79 coming there, and the tight end, hand to man coverage, blown by the, more often than not, there would be the strong safety in that coverage. Headset is off. McDougal's got to be excited to be given the opportunity to throw. That's his first touchdown pass in his college career. He come into this one only throwing uh, 10 times in his career. So now the voters can uh, weigh the conclusion of this one. They will, of course, wait for the outcome of the Miami-Iowa game tonight. Then uh, Washington, I believe, they're playing tonight in Tempe against uh, Arizona State. 
wonder if Arizona State got the quarterback problem solved. Well, that's uh, what a blow that was for Coach Snyder going in there, huh? Huskies loaded, even though they lost a lot to the NFL. Nice kick. Nice indeed. He's got a great leg. Well, the battle to be number one is on. Here's the preseason polls, and now if I understand it, it changes time to time, but I understand the Associated Press poll is going to decide the alliance, so we can get some of the bold things out of that. And, of course, the USA Today CNN poll, that's the coaches over there. Both right now agree that Miami is number one pending their, their first game tonight. They had Notre Dame number three and Washington two, so there are your, there are your top three. Now we can go back to last year and uh, how it wound up. The uh, writers, the AP, voting Miami the national champion, and the coaches opting for Washington. So we had uh, split winners for the second year in a row. Nick Holgerson is the Northwestern quarterback who will clean up in this game. Bobby Jackson. We expected to see a little bit more of Jackson earlier, but uh, Lundy and Smith were effective in there, and uh, Coach Barnett battling from behind kept them in the game as you see from the from the blimp soldier field there in the background and as soon as this one's done they'll start getting it ready for NFL opener tomorrow and the Chicago Bears the Bears that's Jackson out of the backfield Olgerson firing complete <laughs> I'll tell you, the little smurf receivers, Patrick Wright, catching it. <laughs> you know, they had him spread out again, and uh, he, they got it over there. There were people open all the way across that field. This is a very young defense in there right now. So the end will move north to Evanston and Dyke Stadium. The Wildcats go on the road for a couple of weeks, and they will. <laughs> yes, Doug Bettis is right. He fits right in, I'll tell you that. He fits right in. Oh, Holgerson back again. He's firing complete. And that's Patrick Wright. Gotta say something about these little receivers. They run all over the field. They catch everything that's close. And he's the, he's the littlest one that I've seen all time. That's five foot three. I watched him on the practice field yesterday. He, like the coach has said, he's quick as a heck up. And he said, fact, if you put him in a phone booth, you couldn't catch him. <laughs> Over the middle, complete to the tight end is Luther Morris. Nice touch on the ball by Holgerson. He read the zone coverage. The tight end hit the seam down between the two deep safeties, and he threw that right where he had to throw it. So the Gary Barnett era begins. The young man who for eight years was an assistant coach under Coach McCartney out at uh, Colorado. He directed Bill McCartney's offense. Buffalo is winning today over Colorado State. Penalty flags flying here at 129 left in this ball game. 42 to 7. Did you ask me a number of questions today. Let me ask you one. Now you're an alum. Are, are you as an alum and a guy that contributes to the school? Are, are you are you pleased with the new program? I put yes. you on the spot. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I, I never get too carried away. Yeah. You can't if you're a Northwestern guy. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, it's, it's. Uh, we have a great sense of humor. I yearn for the days of Earl Cross. Yeah. No, I really, I was impressed with the enthusiasm, uh, Dick. Uh, sack by Notre Dame. I have always felt, and I think that that Notre Dame, Stanford, Duke, Vanderbilt, Rice, a lot of great institutions in this country have proven that you can win with good student athletes. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta recruit very hard, you gotta go after them, and you gotta give them the right setup and, uh, and the right facilities. system that they wanna yeah, come absolutely. in and play in. And uh, uh, no, I tell you, as I made that statement earlier, I, I'd make my uh, come, I'd make my deposit in these people. They've got a program, they've got a system. So. And it, this is a great town to go to school in, regardless of where it's like. Oh. Incomplete, that was Michael Centers. See, now Michael Centers is an example. He almost makes that catch, but he was a quarterback. He hadn't been a wide receiver before. They just moved him to wide receiver. At the end of the season, he'll make that catch. Yeah. 
Good throw, just off the fingertips, coming down to the right-hand bottom side of your screen. Watch him go up for the ball here. See, there he goes. He goes up there. Oh, boy. Four more wide receiver drills by the receiver coach, Greg Br uh, Brandon, and Greg will have him making that catch, Brent. And some man coverage here. Third down. Oh! One of the first ones that uh, hasn't been grabbed after someone uh, someone touched it. You know that little guy in high school batted 490 in baseball. He was a heck of a baseball player. That 490 center fielder. Yeah, fine player. Out of Atlanta, Georgia. Now, what I was going to say, Dick, is that uh, in this area, regardless if you go to DePaul or Loyola, the University of Chicago or, or Northwestern, this is a wonderful town to go to school in. Yes. Uh, there have been jobs always in the uh, Chicago area mm -hmm. for the youngsters. The other Big Ten schools, especially Michigan, Wisconsin, Purdue, they recruit very heavily in this area. It's been a very lucrative area for a lot of schools. To the 39-yard line. Seconds ticking away. And the Fighting Irish will go home to get ready for Michigan, and that game has major title implications next week. I think Lou Holtz has to be pleased. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he was probably, I think he did the right thing at halftime. Go in there, you know, didn't, Rant and Rave just said we're a better football team, we're not playing like I think you'd, uh, we ought to play, and walked out, you know, put the responsibility mm -hmm. on their shoulders. And why use the emotional whip all the time? You know, yeah, well, he's uh, going to have to use it a week from now. <laughs> yeah, you might need it, huh? Yeah, you bet you Elvis Gerbeck might uh, get yeah. a couple of scores in there for uh, Coach Moeller yeah. and the Wolverines. That'll be a great game. Northwestern will play Boston College. We'll be down south checking nice in on the play. Nice play, nice play. So Paul Fela, he's the third quarterback used today. And uh, there are some who say that he, too, has an excellent future. He was a baseball player, so he missed uh, spring camp and lost his backup job. And he's the third man. And the seconds will run out. And a final score from Soldier Field in Chicago. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, 42, Northwestern 7. And a round of applause for both teams as the players from both sides of the field come out to midfield. A lot of these youngsters grew up together in this area. Presenting the new Civic Del Sol from Honda. It's a sporty open-top car with a very remarkable feature. When it's windy outside, it's not so windy inside. I noticed a definite difference in the way they drive. The Goodyear AquaTread all-season radial. Its advanced deep groove aqua channel channels water away as you drive. Just like you're glued to the road. 60,000 mile guarantee. Snow, wet, dry, strong, secure. AquaTread, only from Goodyear. Gives me a feeling of Aquaman. Another reason we say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. I go to Goodyear immediately. I really would. Cologne for men. A compelling new experience for women. Aspen, now. At the first tickly itch of athlete's foot, get an X. Killing those grungy fungi before they get racket and burning. Go get that can now, or else don't blame Desert X. Devon McDonald, he sacked Lynn Williams twice back to back, and they are two Chevrolet most valuable players of this game. Chevrolet donates $1,000 to both Notre Dame and Northwestern General Scholarship Fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. That wraps it up, folks, for Dick Vermeil and Julie Moran. I'm Brent Musburger. We hope you've enjoyed it from Soldier Field. The Irish are on their way.
Tomorrow, the PGA Tour's best will challenge to become the Silver Anniversary Champion. It's the final round of the Greater Milwaukee Open, presented by Sharks Live. This ABC Sports exclusive has been brought to you by American Honda, who has been making quality cars in America for the past 10 years. By McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. And by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. A promotional fee has been paid to ABC by United Airlines. Come fly the friendly skies. I have a car that lets me travel the world, meet fascinating people, and have great adventures. It's absolutely free. It's my library card. Drop by your library and check it out. The first hit of the season. After just a few short weeks, I am very close to getting this Caribbean thing nailed. From the Emmy-winning creators of Northern Exposure, <laughs> the press calls it sexy, ironic, funny, and lush. Those are the bones. Show me the muscles. It fills your eyes. No problem. Going to extremes Tuesday. Folks, while they last, Stivers Lincoln Mercury is now offering brand new front wheel drive, 92 Mercury Topazes for $79.88. Not a base advertising special, but an automobile with factory air conditioning, power steering and brakes, plus AM FM stereo cassette for $79.88. At Stivers Lincoln Mercury, we believe it, price sells cars. At Stivers Lincoln Mercury. Sure, your old gas furnace still works, but with energy savings of up to 40%, the Lennox Pulse 21 gas furnace makes saying goodbye a lot easier. Want the very best in home comfort? Then consult the professionals at Neighbors Heating and Cooling. Neighbors you can count on. For highest quality service and unmatched reliability, it must be AC contractors and it must be a Lennox. When energy savings a must, must be a Lennox. Most seed companies are happy if they can introduce one or two new hybrids a year. But at Seabag Aggie, we're among the industry's top two corn research investors, testing more hybrids on more acres in more fields. This year, it's paying off with an incredible 21 new numbers. We're expecting quite a reaction. Plant the new numbers from Seabag Aggie Seed Division. You're watching Channel 5. From ABC Sports, this is the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report. Now from New York, John Saunders. Welcome back, everyone, to New York. Let's update you on everything in college football. First, by reminding you at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, number one Miami faces Iowa. In this game, at halftime, we will feature Michael Barrow, Miami's linebacker who had his home destroyed by Hurricane Andrew. That at halftime of that game. Miami looking to repeat as a national champion, becoming the first team since Alabama to do that. But so is Washington. Don't forget that. They were co-national champions. They faced Arizona State at 10.30. Number three, Notre Dame. It was tight at halftime, but the Irish blow it open in the second half. 42-7. to Jerome Bettis with 130 yards rushing and the touchdown there. They will face Michigan next. Texas A&M and LSU. This one's still underway. 31-32. A&M with the lead, although Daigle here finds Brett Besh to get LSU a little bit closer here. It looked like a blowout heading towards the end of this game, but LSU is hanging in there. They are down by 9, 31 to 22. Vanderbilt in number 9, Alabama, 25 to 8 is the final here. Mike Proctor with four field goals in the game. Vandy turned it over six times, leading to 15 points. Nebraska beats up on Utah, 49 to 22 the final here. Mike Grant with two rushing touchdowns. Nebraska, 517 yards, 399 on the ground. Colorado over Colorado State, a final 37 to 17 there. Cordell Stewart, four touchdown passes in this one. Also, 400. 109 yards passing, that is a new school record. Clemson over Ball State, this one was closer than it looks, 24 to 10, the final there. Howard Hall, a one yard touchdown run to put Clemson ahead for good, 17 to 10. Ohio State beats Louisville, 20 to 19, but Louisville had a chance with a two point conversion with 33 seconds left, it falls short. 
California over San Jose State, not even close, 46 to 16. Dave Barr, three touchdown passes to Sean Dawkins, and Russell White of the Bears with 216 yards rushing. Some other top 25 games in action tonight, including Miami. We told you about them as they'll face Iowa here on ABC. Number 10, Syracuse looking for revenge against East Carolina. Also some top 25 teams that are idle tonight. Michigan up next against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. More on the thrifty postgame in just a moment. The Thrifty Car Rental Postgame Report. Brought to you by Thrifty Car Rental. Because it's your money. At Thrifty Car Rental, we understand how therapeutic vacations can be. Getting away from the little power plays. Reassessing your personal goals. So to help make your vacation a relaxing one, when you're shopping for a rental car, call Thrifty and rent a full-size four-door like the new Chrysler Concord. Just $34.95 a day. When I need a car, I always rent from Thrifty. So remember, when it's your money, call 1-800-4-CARS. It was unreal. You woke up with morning breath. You were meeting Miss Wonderful for breakfast and instead of minty fresh scope. Where's my scope? There was something from the medicine in mouthwash. It looked blue, but it still smells somewhat medicine. -y. I need my scope. It's okay. Relax. It was all a dream. You do have scope. It's minty through and through and kills 90% of morning breath bacteria. <sighs> so you use minty fresh scope and you kiss morning breath goodbye. Welcome back to the Thrifty Post Game Report here in New York. Let's continue with the scores and tell you that Rutgers, a loser at Boston College in the Big East, Darnell, Darnell Campbell, rather, two rushing scores, 100 yards for BC, Keith Miller, two touchdown receptions for the Eagles. Miami of Ohio winning at West Virginia, 26 to 16. Adrian Morales, two fumbles leading to Miami's first two touchdowns. ACC, North Carolina, all over Wake Forest, 35-17. Michael Falkerson, three touchdowns. The Trony Means carried 21 times for 112 yards to lead Carolina. Memphis State loses to Southern Miss. Freshman kicker Johnny Lamaro, 52-yard field goal in his first score to win this one. And USC facing San Diego State, still underway. Back and forth, San Diego State with the lead. Marshall Falk, 177 yards and three touchdowns in that game. Back with more in a moment. At Thrifty Car Rental, we know renting a car for business has its good points and its bad points, its ups and its downs. So when you're shopping for a rental car, call 1-800-FOR-CARS and rent a full-size four-door like the new Chrysler Concorde, just $34.95 a day. Because no matter how much money you make, it is, after all, your money. That's why I always rent from Thrifty. I'd do anything for my baby. Nice car. Trade you. Anything for my baby. Hey, that's my car. Baby Ruth. You ought to try a new KFC popcorn chicken. Bite-sized morsels of tender, crispy chicken. Delicious. I call them the Colonel's Colonel's. Get it? New KFC popcorn chicken. A fun deal in Lake Edna or your neck of the woods. The Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report has been brought to you by Thrifty Car Rental. Because it's your money. Well, welcome back. We're just about done. Let's check a few scores. Texas A&M and LSU just the final. Greg Hill, 21 carries in this one for 98 yards, 31-22. Robert Davis, a true freshman, 15 carries, 134 yards in a losing cause. Akron and Eastern Michigan. Akron for the Zips of Jerry Faust, their first game in the Mid-American Conference. They lead it 14 to nothing in the second quarter. And Arkansas loses to the Citadel. Arkansas goes into the SEC this year. The Citadel now 5-1 against 1A schools. They're with Division I AA. At 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight, the number one team in the nation, the Miami Hurricanes facing the Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa needs the win. We'll see you then at 8 o'clock. Good night for now. There's a place far from the greed and corruption of the city where truth and kindness are the rule, not the exception. Where a man can find himself, a father and a son, and get a second chance. Catch the sneak preview of Crossroads, starring Robert Urich, Monday, September 14th. Now is the time to fix up your concrete and blacktop. Menards has everything you'll need, starting with crack fillers and patching products. 
A Kona Vinyl Cement Patch is now just $5.99. Plus, save on Menard's professional lineup of sealers and resurfacers on sale now, starting at just $4.85.